All right, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna do our forensic fiber dye test. Helping me today is James and Liam. Say hey, Liam. Hi. All right, so what we've got here is our forensic fiber dye. This is a, a very specific dye made specifically for forensic purposes. And what we're gonna do is we are going to place, James is actually gonna place, our unknown, which is stapled to our multi-fiber fabric into the dye. So just drop it right in there, James. Thank you, sir. Whoa. Now we need to let it sit in there and boil for about one full minute. Uh, in case you're wondering, yes, it is actually pajama day at the Wagner household today. So we just want to let it go. Unfortunately, with our, our Bunsen burner arrangement, since this isn't actually our normal Bunsen burner arrangement, I can't really control the heat of the flame. Um, what we're using here at home. So we'll, hopefully it doesn't boil over while we're waiting for the full minute. James, could yeah. you go get me some paper towels? We're going to need paper towels, buddy. Or how many? Uh, about three or four, I'd say. Okay. Is that three or four? One, two, three. Four. That's uh, that's Bridget over there. Hi. Got a little ripped, but uh, oh, ripped is fine, buddy. Already. Yes, we uh, we are sacrificing some of our dwindling supply of paper towels for science, so that they, they are getting a bit hard to come by now. All right, so it's been about a minute. So what we're gonna do is we are going to remove our top. We're going to. Cap our Bunsen burner, since we don't need to use it right now. And we are going to remove our fabric. Use our tweezers. Yeah, so we don't burn ourselves. It is pretty hot in there. There we go. So there we have our fiber, our multi-fiber fabric. And what we're going to do is we are going to put it on these paper towels, like we see here. Yeah. And we're going to squeeze it dry. Just gonna blot it. Hopefully not getting any of this on. Not on the fresh tablecloth. Well, it's not on the tablecloth, but it's on the tablecloth cover. Yeah, we might have to throw it away. No, we won't throw it away. Okay. So that's what it looks like when it's all done. Uh, now that we've blotted it dry a bit, we're going to go take it and rinse it. And then we'll talk about it a little bit. So let's go take it over to the sink. <laughs> What we want to do is we want to kind of rinse it in warm water for a little bit. Essentially, we're just trying to rinse off the excess dye. And then we're going to squeeze it dry again, using a couple more paper towels, like so. Bring it back into the, the good light and see what we can see. So here's here's the end result. With our fibers with our unknown. So let's put this out. So you can see uh, up here at the top, this was our acetate, which dyed a very beautiful orange color. Then we have our cotton, which is kind of a, a lavender. Our nylon, which is kind of a blue-green color. Our silk, which dyed a, almost like a navy or royal blue color. Our viscose, which <coughs> very similar to cotton, kind of a lavender color. Ranger, quiet, buddy. That's that's it all. Everybody say hi to Ranger. Hi, Ranger. And then we have our last is wool. So that is our dye. So that was our dye test. Sorry about the uh, the dog interruption. <laughs>